Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos. And today we are putting a twist on an oldie but goodie, the most watched video here on the channel, turning a notebook into a planner. I'm gonna be using all products from Dollar Tree. I've been wanting to revamp and challenge myself to create yet another planner just using a basic notebook. I do have a few different sizes that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So there's this standard one here. There's also this smaller one. And then I have these stitched journals. So whatever size you decide to go with, they'll all work with what I'm sharing with you guys. But I also have some other DIYs and planner setups coming with these. So be on the lookout for that. All right. So here's the notebook that I'm going to be using along with some other things I pulled in from the Dollar Tree. I do have a haul down below. Be sure to check out the description box for more information. So I have this desk calendar, these sticky notes, highlighter, sharpie pen, scotched regular tape and double sided tape, these number stickers, and these floral decals. Alright, so first up, what is a planner without a decorated cover i am a huge fan of wall decals and using them in various projects that i have and the green of this notebook with these florals i knew they would be a great match so i'm just putting these floral wall decals down on the cover trimming off the excess that does carry over the page and I'm taking these number stickers and putting the year 2022 of course adding the year is optional you can of course add your name or if you would like to take out one of the wall decals and add a quote you can do that as well but these stickers can be found in the stationary aisle also checking near the frames is where you'll find the wall decals but think outside the box when it comes to decorating the covers it doesn't just have to be traditional stickers Next, jumping right into the planner, we are going to create a monthly section. I'm currently using a Hobonichi Week style type of planner where all of the months are grouped together. And at first, I was not used to this style of planning as my planners were more structured and I would have a monthly and then I would create a new monthly section, especially when I was doing a bullet journal style. I would create a new monthly section for each month after I was done using however many pages. So with this planner here, what I wanted to do was put all the months together. This way you don't have to designate a certain number of pages. And once you're done with the monthly section, you can add whatever else you would like to after those additional pages. So I took the desk calendar, took it apart. January 1st up, I use the Scotch double stick tape. I do like the crafters tape that they have the double stick one. The glue dots don't recommend with this particular DIY. So with the monthly, you can have them each month have a separate page. So that'll be 12 pages of the notebook. And then on the back, you can use that additional space for to running to do's, brain dump, notes, anything that relates to that month. Or you can just go ahead and put February right on the back. Another thing that I love is that with this monthly section, I'm using the highlighters from Dollar Tree as well. With this monthly section, you can use the highlighters to keep track of bills, paydays, all of that. Any tracker that you need, you can use that. If there's a snow day or a day off that you have, depending on where you're located, whatever makes sense to you for this key. If you are a busy parent or if you are someone that has a lot of events going on this is a great place to keep track of that as well so in the calendar section you can use half of it and then you can also just use the bottom half for notes as well you don't even have to use to do's another thing that I absolutely love are sticky notes sticky notes are great to outline and utilize the bottom space but not right directly on the page you can move them around you can also take them and move them throughout the different weeks that you have going on throughout the rest of this planner now wrapping up this monthly section i wanted to go and create a tab that says monthly so i just went and took an index card and I cut a little section off and I wrote monthly in with a Sharpie and I used the double stick tape and voila, you have a tab. So whether you get your hands on a monthly calendar or not, you can always draw it in or you can print one out. 
however you want to do it. But a monthly for me and a planner is definitely necessary. So let's go ahead and get on to the next section. So here's an easy dashboard cover that you can create for any section in your planner. I'm taking these same wall decals, placing it in the corner. You can cut it up, place it wherever you want, labeling the section, and I'll also be adding a tab later on. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some sticky notes. These sticky notes I can use within my spreads within the forthcoming pages, or if I would like to set reminders, I can do that as well. Plus I can always replace them. So on the back of the cover page, you can create a brain dump or notes page, whatever you would like to call it. For me, I went and took sticky notes and labeled things that I wanted to work on from working on my taxes, YouTube prep, even meal prep. You can also use this format to designate future pages to particular sections such as morning or evening routines, meal planning, goals, projects, and finances. I'm also specifically using sticky notes because then if I want to move them to another page in the planner, I can easily do so without having to rewrite the information. So I wanted to share a few layout options with you guys to show how you can switch it up from week to week. If you want to add in a daily, it all depends on what it is that you have going on. I'm a strong believer in having your planner meet you where you are in your life at the moment. So from week to week, things may change. So this particular spread is inspired by the Hobonichi Weeks, which is the type of layout that I am currently using. And this layout is a two-page format. I wanted to share with you guys how you could get it on one page using this notebook. So on one side, you have the week, and then on the other side, there will be to-dos. Now, in writing your top three, there may be tasks that have smaller tasks within them, and you don't have the space or want to write them all out for the particular day. That's where the to-do list comes in handy. So if you look at Monday, I have errands and an arrow next to it. I then take that arrow, which is now my key, for errands and I look to the to-do list and everything that has an arrow falls under that particular task. Plus if you have a project that you're working on you can of course always write it on a sticky note and then you can move that sticky note to other pages if need be. I also added a sticky note with an affirmation but here you can also put a scripture, your weekly intention or your win for the week. So this next layout is one that I'm sharing it with you as a daily option, but it could be used as a weekly option as well. So I'm using the Monday from the previous spread that I just shared with you guys and creating different sections. So I created a key in the last layout that I had the errands on Monday and then I had to refer to the to-do list. Now with this one, I have all of my errands listed out, all of my bills listed out. I went ahead and added in some notes, a mini grocery list, what I'm watching. So you can use this as a daily, but if you don't have a particular day that you need to get things done on a weekly basis, then you can just create the different sections. So whether that's errands or bills, work, personal of course you can create notes this also doubles as a memory page so to speak all in all this is a great daily and weekly layout option moving on to layout number three i set this up as a vertical week on one page creating six sections i did use a ruler but this is lined you can use the lines as your guide but it's those vertical lines that I definitely wanted to use a ruler. So you can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend, but similar to that previous layout that I shared with you guys as far as creating sections, this is another great way to utilize that type of format. You created the sections, you write what it is that you need. You can also take sticky notes and layer them on top of each of the sections and you can also write underneath sticky notes so that's one like little peekaboo thing that i like to do i'll write on the sticky note and then when you lift it if there's anything additional that i needed to write it'll be written directly on the page so as you can see with a lot of these layouts there's so much versatility to them so you can adjust them to make it make the most sense for your day-to-day I did add a notes page in using this particular layout as a weekly because I just had my to-dos on one side and then any additional notes you can write on the opposite page. And of course, use those sticky notes. The last layout is a standard 
vertical layout where you have three days on one page, four days on another. And I added in hours to show you the hourly option as well. But of course, you can add in the hours if you choose to. You don't have to. Now, I didn't write the to-dos directly on the page because, y'all, if you couldn't tell, your girl is obsessed with sticky notes. But what I love about the sticky notes is that you can use them to mark off larger chunks of time. And don't be afraid to cut those sticky notes down. So you can mark your morning routine, a project that you may have, errands that you need to get done, write them on the sticky note. As things change, having it written on the sticky note gives you flexibility to move it around however you wish. If you have a busier day and need more space in the hourly format, you could definitely use this layout as a daily option. Just designate a whole page to it. Last but not least is a storage option and I am putting this on the inside of the front cover. I'm using a mailing envelope, double stick tape, and more of those wall decals. I took the decals, cut them up. I did have to go back and cut them up more just to get that straight edge. So there's the decor purpose, but cool thing about this envelope is that you can put your wins of the year inside of here. And whenever you're done with this notebook, it's a great time to reflect. You can also use this envelope for receipts or to house your extra stickers and sticky notes to have them on the go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY Price-wise, you can recreate this for under $10, and depending on how much you actually want to use of the supplies featured, it could be even under $5. So all items in this video were from Dollar Tree, but I want to hear from you guys. What else should I add to this planner? I've given you guys layouts, I've given you a storage option, some DIY tabs, decoration, what do you guys want to see next in this planner? Now, I do have a smaller option from Dollar Tree. And of course, what I shared with you in this larger notebook could be scaled down to the smaller ones. But I have some other DIYs in mind for those. So I hope that you stay tuned. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will include the link to the cheap planning series playlist, plus so much more. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.